Hello everyone and welcome to Tara's Daily Insight. My name is Mitchell and it is Thursday, March the 14th, 2013. Um, every time I start to do a video, I always double check the date to just to make sure I have it right. But I didn't have to today and I almost did because if you watched yesterday, you know what today is. Today is my birthday and I thank you everyone for all the well wishes. I feel wonderful, 98% um, healthy today, sparkling. It's so funny because growing up, I always had green eyes, green eyes, green eyes. Green was always my favorite color. If I could choose the color of a toothbrush, it would be green. If I could choose the color of a towel, it would be green. Even at the age of six, I was always choosing green and I wore it today. Um, so it's interesting because that's the heart chakra and even even as a, a, a young teenager I started looking at malachite stones and collecting them. Yes, I've looked into it and it was perfect stone for me. It was really needed a very dense grounding and healing stone that I needed growing up as a, as a young kid in a small town. But um, I'm going to set the intention right now that for you and for me um, and that intention that I want to set and all you have to do is agree with is that well, we would receive healing confirmation, guidance, and a better connection to our higher self, better use of our intuition. I also set the intention that we would resonate, operate, and vibrate in the highest possible frequency of divine love that we can today and be in harmony and alignment with our true authentic self. So all of that being said, um, I, I'm ready to take on the day. Yes, I'm working. I'm not one of those people that takes the day off. So Let's see what the card says for my birthday. And by the way, I'm turning 47 today. This is my, I'm entering my 47th year. I think that's how you say it. So today, ah, Six of Swords. swords. That was a Family Guy episode, wasn't it? Um, so the Six of Swords. And uh, I do like this card. Um, we'll see how it pans out for today for me. And shrink me, make that bigger. So now the the number six, first of all, is a very feminine number. So it's it's pretty peaceful, it's pretty calm in, in my numerology and tarot connection. Um, and uh, the num uh, and the swords are logical things. I'm going to work. I've got lots of all staff meetings today. So very logical things going on here. It's the um, element air. So um, keep that in mind as well. Very interesting that in this card there is water though. So it shows me that there's going to be a little bit of emotions involved in this. Now this card, um, when I read at Universal Studios in Orlando, they always asked us to take out the death card because people were on vacation. They wanted to keep it happy. No death. Um, but this card could pop up and represent death for me as well. Do not think that's what it's representing today. But it could, because what, what it is, is this is an ending to things and moving on to something better. And that's very clear what death is from almost pretty much any belief system there is in any religion. Uh, moving on to a better place, better life, better existence. And I love this card. I always call it my Christine Daya card from Phantom of the Opera with all the candelabras and swords and everything here going through the water. But she's looking forward. So she's looking to the future. And as we read... Um, left to right in our world so that's looking forward and then this cloaked man in the back the the ferryman um oh, who is that don't pay the ferryman not peter gabriel the other guy um he also sang the lady in red i'm going way back in the 80s it's my birthday i get to um it'll come to me or if you if i don't find it write it below so um here's this guy and he's got the light and again it's behind her and it's shining forward, guiding the way for her. And um, this has always kind of felt like a little bit of a higher self or a guide or an angel or something. He looks cloaked and a little unusual. Um, but I love the forward movement of this card. So very beautiful. Um, I'm feeling global stuff. And yeah, this is sometimes why I don't like to watch too much of the news because in my readings it pops up so much. But, you know, mine was on the, the Pope. I remember um, talking about it, and I think in, in, in response below my message, my vlog, I was saying I feel like this Pope is going to be either younger, not even actual Pope, something really unusual. Um, and I did hear that I, uh, he's from South America, uh, Argentina, which my partner Fabian is very excited because he's Argentine. But this guy, first time in 2,000 years, it's somebody outside 
of uh, the European church. Um, so that's probably what I was feeling when I kept saying it's going to be very unusual, breaking kinds of molds and never before. So that was probably the energy I was picking up on. Um, but also other endings. I feel like there's a few people bringing their jobs to a close, and this could even be uh, kids graduating, finishing up school. So um, enjoy that. Looking forward, let the light be your guide from behind, you know, pressing forward so you can see very clearly today. So I thank you all for saying happy birthday in advance. For those of you who will post it, um, it'll be a busy day for me, so I won't be able to respond too much. And um, make sure you get on my emailing list. I'm going to put the, the banner down here again, and because uh, I will be sending out my first newsletter either Friday or Saturday. There will be a special in that, and you want to make sure you get that plus a little free meditation. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you guys later.